So what does digital image processing have to do with remote sensing and why do we actually do it? Well really what we're talking about here is obtaining imagery and using some computer-based image processing system to perform a number of tasks to essentially, I guess, provide information to us from our digital image data. And by creating processes that we go through, we increase the speed and relative and repetitive capability of our analysis. And this is in compared to manual interpretation. So remember when we looked at manually interpreting the digital, the, the aerial photos, well here we're really looking at how we tell a computer to do this digitally for us. It also allows us to automate large and repeated tasks. And again, this will, this will give us robust means to, to perform tasks repetitively and get the same answer. What we actually want to do is, is create a rapid enhancement using both spectral and spatial techniques and this will also en enhance our visual analysis of our data sets. And it provides an increased capability for feature discrimination. So if we look at an image ourselves, we only have the capability of discriminating between about 8 to 10 levels of grey, whereas the computer system can look at the individual numbers in pixels and be able to distinguish between those. So it can distinguish within a, with a pixel value of 50% of compared to 51%, for example, which our eyes wouldn't be able to do that. This allows us to correct for both radiometric and geometric distortions. This is not something that can be done manually with with analog aerial photos, so we really need a digital image processing system to do that. And also enables integration with other spatially referenced data sets, so soils, elevation, water, that sort of thing. And finally, the digital format enables ease of transmission and storage of data in a somewhat stable medium. Let's have a look first of all at the image processing sequence. The first step is to actually define your problem. And this includes steps like analysing the electromagnetic radiation interactions with, the, with your features of interest, looking at different data types, selecting data, and most importantly, matching the question that, you need, that you're needing to answer with possible data types. We then go through to data acquisition, and this includes, both, it includes acquiring both image and field data. The next step is image pre-processing. And we'll look here at both geometric and radiometric corrections. We then go through to image enhancements, both in spatial and spectral. Okay, so really being able to increase the differentiation between our different features based on spatial or spectral modes. From there we look at information extraction, and this is really enabling us to create classification maps. Perhaps you're looking at benthic habitats, or modelling, so if you're looking at the, um, the amount of vegetation in an area based on a percentage. And also allows us to look a little bit at change detection. It's also really important to look at error assessment using both image and or field verification. So this gives us an indication of how accurate our maps are. We can also look at multi-temporal analysis and change or trend detection. And finally, we need to be able to communicate this information for problem solving.